have your Bible, look at the 27th chapter of the book of Proverbs. Be preached on both not thyself of tomorrow. But uh, in verse 8, great portion of scripture is a strange thing. The book of Proverbs is such a tremendous blessing to a child of God to keep him right with his fellow man. That's what it was written for. You know, a lot of times we study the Psalms, try to stay right with God. Sometimes we get to reading in the church letters, stay right with the church. But here, in the book of Proverbs, it tells you how to stay right with your fellow man. And uh, a lot of people stay right with God, believe anything you want to, but I've saw people really try to follow God and just about halfway despise your fellow man. Amen. I will say amen. And he said, I, I can't believe that. You do it yourself. I'm talking about me and you. I'm not talking about somebody down the street. Amen. But he said, as a bird that wanders from her nest, so is a man that wandered from his place. You know, the Bible teaches us that man has a place, and God puts him in that place. When God puts him in that place, and he leaves that place, then that man begins to wander, and he can wander off. And I know many times that God, man's not really one, God takes us down a highway, a detour somewhere, God's taking us to a place in our life, and God detours to get us where he wants us at. I know all that, but I'm talking about a man purposing in his heart to wander from God. The, the Bible said, as a bird that wandered from her nest, so is a man that wandered from his place. And I got to thinking about uh, so much in the Bible, about 25 times it mentions the bird. I never knew that. You know, uh, you hear people say, well, a little bird told me. Well, that's in the Bible. That's in the Bible. Now, that's not the... Uh, now, every tub should sit on its own bottom is not in the Bible. I heard a lady quote that one time down in Baytown. I thought that was in the Bible, but it's not in the Bible. But as a bird wandered from her nest, and you see, a bird can't defend himself. Well, he's just a bird. The only thing he's got is two wings, and he wouldn't hurt anybody, but it can get him away from being hurt. Amen. I've shot at him with a BB gun, and uh, and uh, they'll get away quick. Amen. A bird can't defend himself, and a bird can't guard his nest. But a bird can fly high, and he can go where he wants to to get away from his trouble. But the Bible says this here it says, as a bird wanders from her nest, and this is talking about the mother bird. It said, so is a man that wanders from his place. You know, a bird has no place to live but a nest. And if he lives anywhere else, I mean, uh, he's going to be destroyed. I mean, God fixed the place. Did you ever notice that every bird builds his nest different? I mean, you know, the way a sparrow builds his nest is not the way an eagle builds his. Amen? I mean, an eagle will go over there and kill a bat. I mean, he'll, he'll kill a, a big animal. And he'll take that bird and put it in his nest and make a, a big nest and put all these young in there. But see, that bird is smarter than you are. When them kids won't leave home, he pulls all them hides out. And then they end up them sticks sticking up. And that little eagle says, time to leave. Amen? Yeah. See, that eagle's smarter than you and I are. Amen? Hallelujah. All right. I said, he can fly. And nobody can stop a bird from going where he wants to go. He, you know, he's a free bird. That is wonderful. I, I notice every now and then, you know, in the spring of the year, here comes a robin. Where'd he come from? I don't know if I work cold. And he got to sit up and get out of there, you know. Amen. I notice every now and then you're here in the middle of the night now. Haw, haw. You know what that? That big old goose, he's flying, big old bird. He's flying south. He knows he ain't got no business in the north. Amen. He done wandered off. Amen. Amen. All right. And nobody can stop him. The Bible says here again. Let me read it again. As a bird that wandered from her nest, 
So is a man that wandered from his place. His God gives you a place. A man said to me a couple of weeks ago, he said, you know, God put me at Shady Acre Baptist Church. He said, 16 or 17, 18 years ago, he said, God put me right here. He said, I wandered from my place. And I, as, I, as I read this, I thought about that dear, dear man, as a, what things that happened to his life. But as a bird wandered from her nest, so is a man that wandered from his place. God gives you an eye place. And you know what we say? We say, man, I can get any place I want to. No, it says, uh, it says here that, that uh, so is a man that wanders from his place. In other words, he's got a place where God put him. And God's purpose for him to serve God. Right there. And you'll serve God where God says, or you won't serve God. You say, well, I'm not in the, I'm in the permissive will of God. You're either in God's will or you're out. There ain't no such baloney as this business. Well, God permits. God don't permit nobody not to do his will. Amen. You say, well, he's blessed me. Uh, he, he blessed you when you was in his will. Amen. He blessed you when you was lost. Ain't got nothing to do with it. But a bird has no place to live. He wonders. He, he makes those a, a, a wonder. You ever notice anybody that's just a wonder? He makes few lasting friends. You know, I've got friends that uh, are here in this city that I've known 50 years, 60 years, you know. Know them all my life. Went to a funeral of the day, and, and that, that was a man. And he said, man, how long have you and I knew each other? I said, I don't know. I don't never remember not knowing you. I can't remember. When we little bitty boy, Mama used to dress us both just alike. And if he said, are y'all twins? I said, man, I ain't as ugly as he is. No, I'm not his twin. I'm about to be his twin, amen. But people used to ask us that. What do you say? I just said that a wandering person never makes many lasting friends. A man called me today and he said, I've been in this church, that church, the other church. He's going to all these churches. He said, none of them. God didn't tell that preacher to help you. He told you to get in your place. He did help you. Amen. Come on now. Come on now. A wandering. He said, so is a man that wanders from his place. And, and a bird that wanders from his nest. He don't have a place to live. So he lives up in a tree, down on the ground. And before you know it, a coon comes by and eats. Amen. Man, he got a lot of enemies. Ain't nobody got as many enemies as a yeah. man's his enemy. He's a bird's enemy. Amen. A cat is his enemy. Well, how long since you saw a 70, 80 pound cat? John Smith ever said last night. Man, how would you like to get out there and talk to him? Huh? Man. Yeah. Big old, big old panther. They come up out of one of them river bottoms in there for years and years. Man don't even know he lives there. You know why? He got him a dwelling place back there. He don't just wander around. He got him a place. And he has survived in this society. He's not glad now. He said, you want to hear something about it. Say, he cares. I used to catch me a little old young pony out here. Make supper just now. Wandering place. Has no lasting friends. A wonder usually... A wonder usually loses his man. A man said to me, they said, just what good has the, has the shade acres of Baptist church been to you? I said, well, I've just watched God salvage some of my children. I've just watched God, not all of them, but i watched God salvage them too. And I mean, I, I just stayed here long enough, and, and, and they got confidence in this church, and, and uh, Men of this church and women of this church, I watched God. But a wandering person, you know, I remember coming down the highway one time, I just see a bunch of big, and it said, Weather protection got that. And just as we come through Weatherford, Daddy said, uh, that, that's the gate thing. And I said, Y'all believe it is, Papa? And we pulled off it. So that boy lived with us, and this gate boy lived with us. And uh, she said, Yeah, that's mama. That's mama and my stepdaddy. We pulled over, and now the girls were out there fixing the flat. That old man, he's laying underneath that tree. He's cool, you know, and he had him some water, he's drinking. And them girls fixing this flat. Had, had, some, had some of that old patching back in those days, man, and they was fixing this flat. And I knew we were getting Norma and Maggie. I knew every one of them girls, old man. I knew all those girls. And that they started fixing that flat. They'd been picking cotton all summer. You know what them people were? They were wonders. 
oh man, every time you saw him, he's fixing to get rich. And the last time I saw him, he's fixing a flat. Very cold patch. You say nothing wrong with that preacher, I know it. But I noticed one thing. That, that family never had one friend. My granddaddy was a drunkard. He said, don't never mention that family's name in my face. See, back 40 years ago, if a man didn't work, uh, you weren't allowed to mention his name in a decent family. Even a drunkard's family. Even a drunkard hated a guy who wouldn't work. He hated a guy like Brother Wood does. You know, you know what I mean? Sucker won't work. Amen. He got lives on him. Amen. I said, won't work. Amen. Boy, I, I, you know, I, I, was, I was amazed. Uh, I was amazed. I, I was looking at those old men that last night. Them old men, they pulled that concrete all their life. And, uh, and uh, they pulled that concrete and put it out. And pulled it through the night. You could see just muscle on those men's arms. And uh, I noticed them boys, they flat. You know what it was? Daddy made sure they didn't have to do that. You go back to where they walk. You go back to where they but I guess his, the old man, his dad told him, you had to work. That's why he's a decent man and a good man. And he heard the gospel, he got saved. When he got into church, he worked something. Say amen. Yeah. Amen. I said, a bird has no place to live. So he wanders a long way and dies all alone. And when you see a person who wandered and wandered away, they die all alone. They're always a lonely person. Nobody likes him. Nobody likes him. He's rebellious. He missed God. He messed up on God. Amen. I was going to hang on to that. Bird that wanders from her nest has no place to leave her young. I want you to look in your Bible just a minute in Psalms chapter 84. Chapter 84 of the book of Psalms, please, in verse 3. It said, Yea, the sparrow has found a house, and a swallow a nest for herself, where she may lay her young, even thine altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Blessed are they that dwell in thy house. They shall be praising thee, Selah. Blessed is the man whose strength is in thee, whose heart ways in the way or in the ways of thee. He said here the the, the sparrow, the little old squall, and the little bitty bird. So they, they come through the crack in the house of God, get down there around that altar, and put their young on all the oh, well, the bird got more sense than people. Again. That bird don't get up in the morning, stop be about to reach. I believe I'll move over to child. He's not a wonder. He's a native bird. You know what we need to be tonight? We need to be a native. Amen. Not a drifter, not a wonder. Amen. The wonder always dies alone. But a bird has no place for her young. I was looking there in that Psalms 84. I, I, was, uh, I was wondering, if, you know, I missed something in Psalms 84 here tonight. I missed something in Psalms 84. Probably some other chapter in the Bible. But I missed something in Psalm 84. My soul long with yea, even fainteth for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cried for a living God. I looked at that thing and I said to myself, Lord, have mercy. Here's this man here who'd wandered. And he said, My soul long with even fainter for the courts of the Lord. He said, I'm trying to find God's house. I don't want to be a wanderer. Then he said, my heart and my flesh cried out for the living God. Isn't it strange how one person's decision can change the life of so many people? People don't want you to make that decision. You know, when my mother was saved, and got right with God, and joined the church, none of her family, about 27 families, and tried to go, none of them were saved. But Mama got saved, and so she got saved, and, and she began to teach us children in, in the home about the Bible, and, and about God, and take us to church, and, and what have you. And uh, as we grew up, Mama was different. So she took her girls, and 
every Sunday she would take him to the house of God. I, I, I remember, I remember, I think in the night, when I buried her, I, I got to thinking, you know, her daughters have lived for God, and then there's some preacher boys, of Danny Farley and Brother Chris Moore and them boys, they, they came in that married them girls, and, and how all these preachers came. You said, that just happened. It didn't happen to none of her sisters. It just happened to none of her brothers. It just happened to none of her own. I mean, that old woman made a decision that changed the whole life of not only my family, but Lyle's family. Not only Lyle's family, but Mary's family. And not only Mary's family, but God's family. And now, that decision she made didn't only change my life. It changed Marshall. Jack is said, hey, Paul. Maybe it changed her life. Maybe so. I said, I wonder. My dad said he was raised in a wagon and lived in a wagon. He said, he's about 11 years old. And he said, he took me wished off all and all the grown men were drunk. And he said, if I ever get to be a man, I'm not going to wander around the United States. And he said, when I got to Cottage Grove, I bought that house, he wouldn't sell it. And I, I tell him, when he got old, I said, Papa, sell that old place and uh, you can move in one of these uh, condominiums and live. And, and you have the money, he said. I ain't selling that house, bro. He said, I told God to, when I was a little boy, he'd let me be a man, a house, and quit wandering around. He said, one brought us kids up in there. Put that dog out there to protect him. He said, birds have no place for their young. And then the birds have no place to hide from the storm. I thought that wandering bird. Look at this wandering bird here in the Song of Solomon, chapter 2 and verse 11. In verse 11, he said, the winter's past. The rain is over. It's gone. The flowers appear in the earth in the time of singing. Of the birds is come. And the voice of the turtle is heard in the land. The tree, the fig tree, put forth her green figs. The vine with the tender grapes give it a good smell. Arise, my love, my fair one, and come away. Oh, my dove, listen to this, please. Thou art in the cleft of the rock. See this bird? This bird has a place to live. This bird has a place to hide. Are you listening? Look at it. Verse 14. Oh, my dove, thou art in the cleft of the rock, in the secret place of the star. Let me see thy countenance. Let me hear thy voice. For sweet is thy voice, and thy uh, countenance is commonly. Take us the foxes, the little foxes. They spoil the vines. I will tell you, the little foxes eat the birds also. But not a bird that lives in a rock. You can't fall into that rock and get that bird. And birds and dove live in the rock. Thank God for the man who builds his house. He said, those fig trees are green. I was reading over and said, in, about those trees, you never saw, you don't see them. No kind of bird. Hardly ever, 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 ever sitting in an old dead tree. Bird likes a green tree. It's got leaves on it. The hawks can't see him sitting and hide. See, a green tree is a place to hide. We'll get to it after a while. And a church is alive and planted by the river. It'll hide you and protect you if you raise your yard. There's no place for their young. Look at the third thing that they say. They have no place to hide from the storm. This, this turtle dove, he has a place. He got a rock. Let the storm come. Let the storm come. Let it rage. He said, the storms are coming, but look, yep, this bird's not worried about no storm. And then the bird has no place to rest. He's a one. He's a one. My wife and I was in San Diego, California, here a few years back. And you know, we read here tonight about that swallow. And they said, uh, tomorrow at 11 o'clock, the swallows will be back. I said, where they been? They said, they went to Spain. They went to Capitol Strong. They said, they'll be back tomorrow. How long have they gone? They've gone to you. What happened at 11 o'clock? They said, 
teaches us here as a bird that wanders from an air. So is a man who wanders from his place. A man who wanders from his place, he don't have no place to rest. He's never resting his soul. Therefore, there remaineth a rest for the people of God. God gives his people. He said, come unto me, all you that labor and heavy labor, and I will give you rest. You know, the, the characteristic of an unsaved person is that there's a restlessness in their soul. I used to just get Larry, I'd hear a freight train whistle blow. You used to have a big old steam train. I hear that whistle blow. I grab that sucker. I didn't know where it was going. I had twenty cents in my pocket. And I'd ride that freight train for a thousand miles. What was the matter? Something inside was in. And I was a wonder. Man, I got saved. Man. I got saved. And I got tired of bucking the wind. Oh. Pilgrim, who was remembered the church of dead now. Paul told me, he said, one night we was coming from up in the lawn. And you know, I said, I kept hearing something. Whack, 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 whack. On that big plane. He was one of those uh, navigators. He told me, I don't know what he was on that plane. He had something to do that air. One. I did that as a field. Flight engineer. And uh, when that plane landed, he said, he said, man, we was thousands and thousands of feet up in there. I guess you saw this, Brother D. He said, when we, we were flying up there in that gust stream, he said, them, them big uh, geese that got in those dust and those streams up there, but he said, they just filled their motors up and everything up. They never shut that thing down. So we, had, we, we lived in the Air Force Base. We uh, taxied in there. And so they cleaned that plane up. He said, what? Wow, he said, man, that's something in there. I always wondered how them birds got out. And you're out here all You can't trust these rest areas there. You get killed. And uh, so they, they don't have any. You know what they do? They just get up there, put their wings up like this here, hit it about three times, and say, out of the gut They can go to sleep. Sleep halfway here. Huh? What are you talking about? You think a goose is stupid? You ought to know some folks I know. Amen? Bird got a rest, man. So he's up there, and he ain't just flapping his wings and i got to help God. Here he comes. You hear him go, honk, honk. He said, Texas, here I come. Get out of the way. <laughs> And you think he's messing in Monterey. Amen. Wow, wow, man, your horns all night long. I said, boy, thank God for red lights. <laughs> bird has no place to rest. He's a wonder. He's a wonder. Listen, a bird has no protection from the hunter. If he don't have a nest somewhere, if he don't have a place where he's protected, 
this, people nowadays build places in their home for, for birds. And it's not a lot. I've seen a bird I don't know what kind of bird it was. But anyway, found David, he fixed him one. Let him little hole about that big bluebird. And they said that, you know, nobody, no bluebirds come around nowhere. You don't never see them. We saw some out, my wife and I did in Montana. A big bird about that big, just as blue as blue can be. Beautiful thing. And, uh, and Sam said, that, said, man, you need to cut that hole bigger where you can get a bunch of these birds in there. So Sam, he cut the hole bigger and the birds moved. You see, the birds don't like them other birds peeping in. See, so they got a little bitty hole. It ain't no big bird going to come on and jump on you see, God made a little bird like that small. One time my wife and I, we walked outside, and she said, yeah, this is that. And, and we had a bucket. We had a little bucket out there, a little bucket. We brought it all the way from Paris, where it carries a milk bucket. And we had that thing hanging up there. And then birds, they took that mud and fixed that mud somewhere or another, and fixed it up in a little bitty hole in there. A rat couldn't get in there. Big bird couldn't get in there. Dog couldn't get in there. Nothing couldn't get in there. You know what? God built him. It's a place of protection from the hunter. God gave that bird sent to the building. He didn't give me any sense enough to do that. Amen. We thought we'd be enough to take care of ourselves. But you know, in Psalms 104, look in your Bible, please, here just a minute. In Psalms 104, God began to deal with my heart about this thing. Look in verse 16. Look in verse 16. Psalms 104, in verse 16. The trees of the Lord are full of sap. The cedars of Lebanon, which he hath planted, where the birds make their nests. As for the stock, the fir trees, her house, every one of these trees are evergreen. These trees, these birds, they like them evergreen trees. They're always green and full of sap. He didn't say they were saps. He said they were full of sap. Amen. They a sap. He wanders off. Look at it, please. Where the birds make their nest. Them big cedars, they were so tall. Them fir trees were so big. It said the high hills are refuge for the wild goats and the rocks for the corners. He has appointed the moon for the season. The sun knows his going down. What we're talking about here is the birds has no place for protection from the hunter unless he lives in the free and broad city that wander around. They ain't going to go out here find no mocking bird going to Michigan to be sent. He ain't going. He's going to stay down in Texas and whistle the same. Raise their young. Are you listening? You know, I read that verse of scripture there in Proverbs about the snare of the fowl. And you know, I never did stop. I, 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 I don't know why, I just you always knew. But I never knew what a fowl or what. That, that's a sportsman killing a bird. Who, who's going who's gonna to hide the bird from the sport? From the fowl. That's somebody who kills the fowl. But what, how, how, how are, are they take care of? I don't care if it's man, I don't care if it's a cat, I don't care if it's a fox, I don't care if it's a coon. God gives him two wings to fly away when the danger comes. Did you ever see a mockingbird attack a cat? Did you ever miss it? He's scared of cat. That cat messing with that mockingbird's nest, that mockingbird will come down this wood and what? Will he attack him this wood? Me and you have sat and watched them. Now, a cat can uh, a cat can whoop a bird, but a bird with a little beak about that big can knock his eyeball out too. Amen. You know, I, I saw a hummingbird, and I, I was sitting there, I was watching a hummingbird the other morning. Now, it got real cold. I'm glad you know when I see something come, they come down South Park. They don't hit them. I can tell you, every, every bird knows where it's home is. And when the cold spell blows in, 
The little hummingbird ain't got no sense at all. He ain't that big. And he's got a bill that long. And can you imagine getting stuck with that? I mean, that mess can stick out in the chair, ain't you? You're in trouble. You understand that? I mean, he's a mess. He's not even with that. He's not even with that. That's rough, though. And all he's looking for is just a little stuff. Yeah. I'll tell you later. <laughs> Boy, I like that. I like that. I like that. The bird has no place of protection. And if he wanders from where he's supposed to be, he'll die. When the cold spell comes, go south. He knows where his place is. But a man can begin to get cold on God. Get indifferent on God. Instead of going south, he goes north where it's cold. The bird has a place. Let me give you the last thing, please. A bird has no place to fulfill the purpose of God to live life. He can wander from his place. And if a man wanders his place, he will have no place to fulfill God's purpose to live life. Nobody knows what God wants. Brother so Dan and I talked about this today. Nobody knows what God wants to do with him. You think you do. You don't. You say, I know exactly what God wants me to do. He called me to preach his last week. You haven't got any earthly idea of what God has. That, that's in my mind. That's what's in my heart. I'm not looking for anything else. I know what God wants me to do, and I'm just doing that. But nobody Oh, what God's got on his mind this morning. I've heard men say, I know the perfect will of God for my life. Three days later, the Holy Ghost of God is saying, over here. You see? You have trust. But you got that scene that set. Mind is set. God can't deal with you. You go, I can't go. I mean, what, look at my kids. I said, look, at me, look at my grandchildren. I said, man, God called you before you had me. He called you you were nothing but a young man. And if God hadn't assigned you, you wouldn't have no grandchildren. No, no, you'd be in jail. Bird has no place. You belong. You become the one. But you know, not many birds purpose in their heart to move to a place well, God ain't. A bird knows he can't make it without God. The ox knows it. My, the ash is my secret, but my people don't know it. They don't consider it. The animal knows God's got the people. Are you listening? God says everyone in those fires. Fell to the ground, God fought. In other words, God's eye is up on the sparrow. I wonder why it didn't write in that. God's eye is up on the beautiful dove. I wonder why it didn't write in that. God's eye is up on this great tropical bird that is so beautiful. Because all men are looking out after them. Man will capture them and put them in cages and put them in his home and feed them and take care of them. But ain't nobody going to take care of that sparrow. But God Himself, and God will take care. Will take care. Lord, what I saw God do this is, I know, I know God will take care. Wonderful. Pray to ever pray. Many birds become extinct. You know one of the first birds that I knew about a holy sense is the holy bird. He's a dodo. He makes his nest in the ground. I tell you something, in South America, the people here in the back, the Nobody sees me. Nobody can see me. They're this way, man. You ever see a drumstick off one? I took the drumstick off and put it on the fire and cook it. 
Everybody, we just got to pray for I was listening, I was listening to a tape like I named Brother Victor Alvarez. Don't you hear this song? And I was there with a thing. He sang a song. I never heard the song before. What a beautiful song about a wonder coming home. And here come a boy, 30 years old, down the aisle. And, it's all, and everybody in this church was shouting. Praising God and one God. Before that, I am not got saved. Victor told me the story. I was listening to music. Listening to a woman shout. The 30 year old boy said, Mama, 
gave up on it. He said, Daddy gave up on it. He said, the whole church, pastor and all, they gave up on it. He said, the year of Grandma in Monroe, Michigan, I mean, Monroe, North Carolina, Grandma prayed for me. He said, I'm coming home tonight. It's an answer to the Grandma's prayer. Somebody else doesn't give up. Just a wandering around, criticizing God, because their boy has lived for the Lord. While they done that, one dog was the Lord, and the Lord was not going to take That boy was clapping her hands yeah. and shouting. I imagine when he went to the cell phone, he called up and said, Well, your boy, I'm not saying anything. Well, I wonder how long he's going to last. He wandered and had no faith. Wander, nothing is a blessing to a one. Wander from his name. Wander from his place. Wander from his place of possession. Don't be no one. Don't be no gift to God. I mean, that's the problem. So we pray just a moment. That verse of scripture says, There's a bird that wanders from her nest. So is a man that wanders from his place. God has got a place for you. A certain place. A preordained place. It's a place of blessing. Place of blessing. Where you get all your blessings. You name them one by one. Father, we commit the church of the week. Have you willing way here tonight? In Jesus' name. Amen.